Hey guys, you here, right? Yeah, Gene, and welcome to another GTA 5 Carvey Cut episode today. The Vapid Guardian going against the Double 6x6. A few days ago, I compared the Guardian against the Sand King. Be sure to check it out if you haven't already. There'll be an annotation under the screen. But basically, when the Dobster first came out, I compared against the Sand King. That was all based on my opinions. So I'm basically going to be re-ramping uh, most of these episodes along with that comparison. So you guys get more of a factual comparison rather than something that's based off my opinion. So that's what something I wanted to confirm because there's a lot of people that sort of uh, based everything off that video nine months ago. So uh, yeah, so expect to see a comparison with the Dobbs 6x6 against Sand King with this format. Starting off with the handling, we have the Dobbs 6x6. This is actually not that great around the racetrack. It's not that great for handling as well. It's got that heavy feel to it where you get the tendency to understeer along or with the inside tire marks around corners which can also cause a little bit of oversteer so uh, it's not that great to maneuver around corners with its poor turning circle as well so guarding on the other hand it does have that slight tendency to oversteer if you're trying to throw around a corner at high speeds however it's quite predictable and it's got amazing responsiveness at high speeds as well so you can pretty much just uh, make sure that you always get that corner right and efficient as well so you know, turning circles there, and it pretty much does the job for you. It's quite comfortable. Now, acceleration top speed, as you can clearly see, the Dubster is going to smack that one against the Guardian. That's quite unfortunate. Look at the Guardian. Left all by himself. My guy Dubster, that little midget, just goes off in the distance. What the fuck? All right, man. So, you know, now for talk, basically, uh, as you saw, the launch speed initially, Dubster had it, but then obviously... Uh, the Guardian's got insane amount of torque that produces and it's absolutely insane, man. This is where uh, you sort of see the dominance of the Guardian kicking it. Oh, wait, wait a minute, never mind. Uh, customization is it's only one option, really. Uh, but yeah, you know, it is what it is, brothers. But let's take a look at the dubs, the 6x6, man. 17 customizable options, a lot of variety of different things to choose from. That's crazy, you know. Only if we wish that uh, other vehicles had that. But at the end of the day, when it comes to the lap time test, of course, it's taken into consideration that the dubs the 6x6 has insane performance uh, for acceleration and top speed. But when it comes to a track like this with certain uh, corners, uphill, downhill sections, that's where you really sort of see the actual comparisons taking place. Now, obviously, considering the torque Guardian has uh, over the dubster when it comes to uphill sections like this, the Guardian's going to pull over the dubster. And of course, with these corners, you're able to carry the speed that you produce from these uphills. So uh, you get this nice little balance, I guess. You know, it's not that the Guardian gets absolutely shredded like it did on a drag race, but on this particular sort of track, you know, it's quite interesting. Obviously, the Dubs is gonna take it because of that upper hand, but obviously with with the performance, however, handling, that's where it's sort of the downside is. This is where the Guardian can really take advantage of but then even with the guardians handling uh dubster sort of comfortably takes it, you could say but not comfortably driving around this track you know guardian certainly more comfortable obviously uh he's a little bit more work required with the dubster with the throttle really managing the inside tire skids along with the understeer as well and uh yeah a little bit of that drag feel with the extra weight so you know have to pay attention to that other than that really and truly the dubster just I guess uh, just takes off and does the job as you'd expect with the performance. It's interesting. It's actually really interesting, man. Because look, so basically, you're coming up to off-road uh, section here. This is where uh, so really what you guys wanted to see, I'm sure. Here she is, man. So, ground clearance, first of all. Guardian will, of course, uh, take it there. It's quite self expansory of the Dubster. Whereas the waiting depth, also, Guardian will take, as you can see, the Dub 6x6 pretty much just dies inside the water there. So, uh, that's unfortunate. Now, obviously, uphill here as well. The initial sort of. The power, obviously, we've got to take into consideration that the Guardian produces over the Dubster is greater. And that's that's something that's interesting. Obviously, the Dubster is quite small. So you got to take that into consideration along with its performance. And remember, acceleration and top speed is greater. But in this case, it doesn't really matter because pulling up hill is all about the power and traction as well. So, you know, this is where the Guardian seems to dominate from both aspects. So, uh, yeah, that's, that's quite interesting, actually. Uh, but look, here, here's the thing. You can see the traction as well. Pulls off, but then the Dubster... When, when the gear kicks in, it just goes off due to his performance, of course. 
but the, that sort of proves that you know the Guardian actually has better traction over the uh, Dubster. What's also interesting is that of course the Dub 6x6 has six wheels so that's where the real testing comes in and that's what I forgot to do or didn't really do in my initial comparison with the Sand King uh, so that's why I'm going to redo that. But here is where you guys will pretty much see sort of the point of view with the durability, stability and efficiency and maneuverability. Holy shit. So this is where uh, you can see Guardian, not necessarily great going over rocks and whatnot. It's not that great to actually maneuver as opposed to the dubster in this situation. So it also, you know, it's quite prone to getting stuck in between little cracks in these gaps, you know, with rocks and boulders. So obviously it's due to its size and initial sort of uh, fuel tank on the bottom that gets in the way with the wheels. So you can't really really benefit from the ground clearance as much although it's there but it only is it's quite dependent on the variables given at the position of where you're actually placing this uh, vehicle now once again getting stuck there as well so Dobbs is certainly efficient in these situations uh, all around I guess on off-road certainly most stable and you can also maneuver along with its durability as well so generally speaking both of these are actually really good for off-roading it just depends on your preference and as you guys saw the different factors and differences, but they all equate to pretty much being quite similar in off-road, which, you know, really, like I said, comes down to preference. Pretty much summarizing of this episode today, as you can see, Dub 6x6 will take it for performance over the Guardian. However, for off-roading, both of these are pretty much just as equal as each other. They have the ups and downs and really comes down to your choice and the, the day. So be sure to let me know in the comments below which one you guys will actually choose. And also expect to see a revamp of the Dub 6x6 going against Sand King to really and truly see what is the most dominant uh, off-roading vehicle on the game. And of course, we'll be doing an insurgent comparison as well, along with the rest. So be sure to check that out when they come out. But of course, now on the screen, you can see the Vapid Guardian going against the Sand King annotation screen. It will take you straight to the video. I'll see you guys there. Thanks for watching. Shaggy, sign out. Good night, peace. Yeah!